Just think, in 55 years, I'll be able to rent five-year-old movies on this spot. Without any money, I don't really have any business in there. Bank of Italy? Nice rack. Yeah, we got all kinds of uh, culinary enhancements back there. What are those tables for? We keep a few extra tables around for our end of the month hobo soirees. <clears throat> okay. Hey, um. Uh, never mind. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone! Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Emmett, uh, about don't your- Don't say it! Hey, how you doing, Einie? I don't need to go in there anymore. I don't need to go in there anymore. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone! Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. 
And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Damn it. Uh, about don't your... Don't say it. Or do we take H's head? Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Damn it. Uh, about don't your- say it. Gail, Zemeckis, and Fine. Attorneys at law. <laughs> no solicitors. Or do we take H to stand behind the line up? But in that case, H to the A multiply by. Duck! Where have you been all this time? I missed you. I've missed you too, Marty. But I thought it was important to let you live your own life for a while, free from the insanity of time travel. I gotta admit, it was nice to not have my family history blowing up in my face for a few months. Besides, I've been busy raising my own unpredictable teenagers. So how are Clara and the kids? They're fine, fine. Right now we're trying to decide where to send Jules and Vern to college. Clara prefers the 2020s, but I'm partial to the 1960s. We're planning on visiting you and Jennifer in 2011 soon. Me and Jennifer? In 2011? Oh, forget I said anything. Where'd the DeLorean come from? The last time I saw it had been smashed to pieces by a train. It's a fantastic story. Do you remember when the DeLorean got struck by lightning in 1955? Yeah. Unbeknownst to either of us, the lightning produced a temporal duplicate of the time machine, one that was tossed 70 years into the future. What? I found out about it during a trip to 2025 and recovered it just in time to stop Griff Tannen from vandalizing the time stream. Heavy. So that DeLorean... Is for all intents and purposes the exact same machine as the original. Plus or minus little bells and whistles I've added over the years, of course. So, what were you doing in 1931 anyway? Oh, nothing terribly exciting. Indulging in a little personal nostalgia, picking up a few rare out-of-print books to surprise Clara on her birthday, solving a historical mystery or two. The usual. The usual? You lead a pretty unusual life, Doc. It's an unusual universe, Marty. I hate to tell you, Doc, but your last time departed display is on the fritz. It is? So how did you find me? I found one of Edna Strickland's shoes in the DeLorean. How did one of her shoes get in the DeLorean? Einstein took it from her. He did? How strange. Einie almost never attacks people. Not without a good reason, anyway. How'd you wind up in jail in 1931, anyway? During my trip to the past, I decided to look into one of Hill Valley's unsolved mysteries. The fire at the speakeasy. Exactly! I thought I was safely hidden across the street. But when the fire started, there was a tremendous explosion, and I was knocked unconscious by a stray brick. When I woke up, I was here, in jail, charged with arson. That's horrible. 
I know. Worse yet, I still don't know who started the fire. Hang in there, Doc. 